Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout Nevada. We're still in the Gecko Power Plant actually because I reloaded a previous uh, save game because I wasn't entirely sure whether I could get rid of the uh, problems with the radiation poisoning. Uh, so I was a little bit smarter this time around. I took a red axe. Um, probably should have taken two because that only increased my um, radiation resistance by 50% and then I had after I went into the reactor here I got irradiated more so I had to quickly use a rat away so oh well I mean a bit more expensive than just using two rat axes I suppose but I needed that card to get the um, radiation suit which increased my total um, radiation resistance to 95% so now I'm just wondering we need science to operate this computer but it's too low, it says. So I wonder, will 50% do it, or do we need more? Do we need more? No. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, 50% was. It w was it. You gained 500 experience point, uh, points. You succeeded in breaking into the system. Judging from the documents inside, the plant wasn't used solely for peaceful purposes by the government. Oh, by the way, I completely forgot to mention one of the um, handyman, the robots... That I fought here, I was like, you know, just like uh, last time, yeah, shoot, shoot, shoot. And then suddenly I get absolutely annihilated by the robot that has the minigun. I didn't even realize that it had it equipped last time. Uh, so I was just lucky, but yeah. All right, look at reports on uranium ore supply. Because uranium ore was used by the military, its extraction and distribution were under strict government control. Therefore, the Poseidon oil power plant had to undergo regular inspections and maintain impeccable accounting. According to these records, there was enough uranium in stockpiles at the time of, of the power plant shutdown to keep the power plant running efficiently for another 250 years. Man, unlimited energy here. Uh, look at Lovelock radio station project. By special decree, a separate power branch was provided to supply a radio tower near Lovelock settlement. The facility was marked as of critical significance and was supervised by the military. The nuclear power plant should have supplied the station with enough power. Uh, Poseidon net debugging report. Oh, the coordinates. We already know it. It's that station by the che uh, Cheyenne tribe. Uh, or Cheyenne tribe. Uh, Salmon you have already visited. Debugging report. It's a computer network designed for long distance communications. Its purpose is to connect uh, different military and governmental facilities of the United States. The network is offline now, which isn't particularly surprising. Well, if uh, you know there's a little bit of a... Almost like a, not really an easter egg, but a surprise in Fallout 2. I believe it's this particular computer where you can contact the Enclave. And you can make them mad enough that they actually send a vertibird and then shoot you. <laughs> to Gecko. So, yeah. Alright, so that wasn't really anything that important. Apart from maybe knowing the fact that it has enough uranium to run for another 250 years. Uh, so maybe that's something important when uh, we can possibly get this place up and running for, you know, the future inhabitants of Gecko. Anyway, let's get out of here before we get uh, completely irradiated. We're still good now because it doesn't say that we are irradiated. Uh, so that's why I'm trying to, that's what I'm trying to avoid. We can just go to the vault and, uh, you know, get rid of... The radiation. Okay, I'm gonna switch over back to my legendary armor, which is actually really, really good, all things considered. No, I don't want pests. Oh, it's just mole rats. Okay, fine. Hello, mole rats. Oh, really? What a surprise that I missed. It doesn't matter if we get infected because, well, uh, we're going to the vault for a nice checkup. How much XP was that, I wonder? 136. That's not that bad, actually. Or just, you know, two easy kills. Oh, something happened. I think it was my uh, radiation. Uh, ah, yeah. We lost the radiation resistance from the uh, Red X. I think we're going to lose another 25 <clears throat> in a bit. But the important thing is we didn't get badly irradiated. So, I need medical attention. There we go. And now we are not irradiated anymore, which is very, 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 very good. So, my science is 50%. I wonder if I should put more into lockpicking science or 
energy weapons. I really do want to start getting the energy weapons up. I think I might actually do that. Um, but the thing is, if you medical history, we've already done that. Holy. Uh, when you were brought to the city, when you arrived, you went over. Wait, a new artificial personality. Oh, yeah. Um, right, we're, we're absolutely full on stuffs now. So, stuff, not stuffs. Uh, so, we need to go to Reno or Vegas and sell things. Um, yeah, I might actually wait with using all these skill points because if I'm, I'm going to dump them into energy weapons anyway, it, they're going to be useless until I get a few more levels to dump more and get close to 100%. Um, so I might as well save them now if we get to something that we really want to lockpick and we can't or something that requires more science. So I can save this here now. All right. Off we go to the Reno land, I guess. Also, I know you've missed it. Up, 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 up. <laughs> All right. Reno. Um, hmm. Battle Mountain. What the heck is that? Um, that's probably that place. Actually, wait a second. Let's go to Lovelock as well. And see what we can do about that radio station. Because it said that we should go back there, right? I just can't remember why. Bim, blim, bim, bim. Still, small group of rat scorpions. Not interested. Goodbye, small group of rat scorpions. I hope you have a fun life. Right, there's Blackrock. Uh, we've lost another 25 radiation resistance, I'm assuming. That um, radiation suit is very nice, but I'm, I think it's quite heavy, which is a problem. We're going to stash it somewhere. Uh, and then uh, get it when we want to go back to Gecko to get the rest of the items that we couldn't before. And if we go to any other places on the map that have a lot of radiation. Not bad. I have more. Well, let's see. What are we actually supposed to do here? Expose Dr. Wilmoth. Find information about Project Vault 8 in Area 51. Uh, hmm. I thought there was something else here that we needed to do. Lovelock. Find Gizia Shinurino. Okay, that's the, the slave. Bridgeport. Get the village rid of the bi uh, biker gang. Help to equip caravan from New Reno to Bridgeport. Cure the child by yourself. Bring medical supplies. We can do that next time. Ramen. Oh yeah, we do have the uh, kettle prod now. Convince Dante not to join the biker gang. Okay, we can actually do all, practically all, all of those, I think. Find the missing prospectors. 30 bottles of beer. Kidnappers. Complete the warehouse special assignment. Hmm. Okay. I don't know, I thought there was something here we needed to do, but... Uh, I guess not. I'm gonna double check, of course. Uh, of past broadcast, read the mission statement, scan every frequency for a signal. Access granted. You hear nothing but white noise on all channels. Right. Broadcast message, no one responds. Nope. That's gonna be it. Yeah. I guess we've already done everything here that we could, so... Never mind. Let's get out of here. Alright. It's on the way to Reno anyway. So that is fine. That is completely fine. Uh, let's get out of here. Get out! Get out of here, stalker! Uh, Reno! Further. <sighs> Moving is really quite fast there, I guess, because of the roads. Uh, so, Hotel Silver first, because we can sell stuff and we can store stuff. 
Hopefully he has some new uh, money now. Okay, look at all that stuff. Uh, that can go there, the fuse, I guess. We do have this, uh, the super toolbox. So we can get that ammo press as well. That's going to be nice. Look at all the microfusion cells we have. Wow. Kettle prod, I'm going to keep for now. There's a minigun I want to sell. Because we're not going to be using that. Oops. Come on. Uh, shotgun, I'm going to try to sell. Weapon parts, I'm going to keep the whiskey for now. Okay. I'm going to try to sell that extra one. Hopefully he has the money now. That would be very, very nice. Show me what you got. Well, he's got more hunting rifle ammunition, so that's nice. So that does mean that he's probably replenished his supply of... I wanted to say gold! But no, it's... There we go. Alright, so he can have this and this and all the Molotovs. Not the cattle prod for now. This. Oh, wow. Nice. I might actually want to keep the um, the ammunition there. Uh, you can have the shotgun. It's, it's okay. But I think I want better stuff, to be honest. Alright, so I want those microfusion cells because I think we're going to need them or our energy weapons later on. Horribly expensive. And wow, that's still not enough. Let's see what else he has. Uh, some junk. Hmm. I guess I can take these as well, and that will be enough. Where's the monies? Come on. Right, let's see. Uh, so five. Oh. Uh, let's do it like this. There. Three, five, six. Alright. That's not too bad. Got rid of that stuff. Okay. So let's put the cells into storage. Because right now we don't need them. We do have that nice little plasma pistol. A proper plasma pistol. That we can use as soon as we get our... Um, our stuff up. Our energy weapons. I'm going to keep the lighter knowing this game we might need it for some or something uh we've got too many of these for now don't really know why i'm keeping these cards oh yeah, i forgot to sell this oh well not a biggie all right mysterious device oh yeah this bloody mysterious device is reasonably heavy but I might need it. I don't know. All right. Let's go get the ammo press at the railway station. Hello. Make me that ammo press. Uh, and more questions. Can you make ammunition? Can you make any of that? Wow, that's expensive. That's a fair price. I'll give you 5000 No. Can we negotiate? <clears throat> I just happen to have one here. So, deal? Yeah, he's talking about Snap-Off Super Toolkit. There you go. Boop. And that was it, I guess. Well, there it is. And what, we paid like 2,000, I think? Yeah. Ammo manufacturing tool. Seven pounds. Portable homemade device for ammo manufacturing. Special relay allows you to adjust the press for different calibers. This device can only be used when held in hands. Oh. The ammo press is ready for use. Choose your caliber. Wow. Next list. Five millimeter. Five millimeter. Oh yeah, that's uh, for the miniguns and stuff. Interesting. Yeah. There you go. To produce one set of ammo requires 20 components. In the backpack you have zero components. 20 components? What, so... Th Those, um... The ammo stuff? I mean... The ammo powder and stuff. You need a lot. Holy moly. That is crazy. Upgrade the ammo press. Oh. Ammo press one. Junk one. Repair 70 small weapons. I do have that. Except the junk. I need to uh, get the junk. I can upgrade it. That's cool. I didn't know that. 
Uh, right, what else did we say? We have that, we have the cattle prod. Oh yeah, we have to do stuff for uh, that place. Uh, that lovely place down south. So let's get the junk first. I think I have some stored here. And also let's get some... Well, actually, no, we're not going to get the components for now. Yeah, look at that lovely pistol. Um, bum, 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 bum. I'm looking for junk. Junk! Oh, that's the power armor thing. There we go. There's one junk that I need. Heavy bullets. So where's the... There it is. Ammunition remains. Components. Yeah, there we go. So these are considered components. Okay. Good. Wait a second. What do I need for that thing? Uh, where is it? Where are you? Nelson's damaged weapon. Pump shotgun is better. It'll take a lot of work to restore it to working condition. Let's see what we need, actually. Okay, so back to the railway station. I wish there was a crafting station there. Next to the personal safe. Or that the personal safe was here. That would have been nice. Alright. Let's upgrade the ammo press. Get to work. Lovely. 100 experience as well. Uh, repair Nelson's shotgun. Junk 1. Weapon parts. Okay, we do have that. <laughs> I should have brought it, I guess. Uh, so let's see. And now it's 10 pounds. Supplemented with bits for armor piercing cartridges. Cool. Okay, where's... 24 components. Where's the uh, where's the armor piercing stuff now? Okay. Nice. I mean, it's, it's kind of weird because at this point we're not really hurting for ammunition. So I don't know. It would have been lovely at the beginning of the game to have this. Now, eh, not so much, but maybe it's still going to come in handy. Right, so we need it. We need it. One. Where is it? Uh, one junk. And one of those boxes. There it is. There. Lovely. Lucky. We've already upgraded that, I, be I believe. Um, actually, I don't know if we did. I'm just going to check. Do we have some beer? We've got 350 microfusion cells, which is quite nice. Medical pajamas. Don't think we can do anything with that. System. Part in the assembly. You know what? I'm going to take this with me just so we see if there is anything we get as an option. Um, striker. And take this with us as well, just in case we can upgrade it. Alright, um... Woof, 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 woof. I can't stop thinking about it. These are the Reno's last days. Oh, poor tire. It's a little depressed. Alright. So, let's see. Clean the old lucky pistol. Repair energy weapons. We don't have energy weapons. 40. We could try that. Repair Nelson's shotgun. Uh, junk, weapon parts, yep, get to work. Oh, nice. 200, uh, 200 experience. Once a very popular sporting weapon of 12 gauge caliber. 15 to 25, that's actually not that bad, to be honest. Um, can't do anything with that, and no options for these things. I'm assuming you cannot really just make power armor at a repair station. Um, so Lucky needs 40 energy weapons. Oh, man. Hmm. You know what? Should I do it? No. Because it's not gonna, it's not gonna be useful at all at the moment. So I think it's 
kind of safe to say at this point that we can get rid of the pistol, which is woefully lacking, and replace it with a shotgun. So hunting rifle for longer ranges and really, you know, good aim. And the, um, the shotgun for some more damage up close. So we'll leave this here. I'm um, not going to leave that hit there. I'm going to keep it. So we're going to do it like this. These are empty, I believe, flasks. We are going to get rid of all the uh, 10 millimeter ammunition for now. And we're going to take all the empty flasks with us just so we can get some more water maybe going. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. We're at 87. That's not bad. Oh yeah, should probably take some ammunition for the shotgun with me. If we're going to be doing that. I've got 200 hunting rifle ammunition. Nice. Not that much shotgun ammunition, but it's alright. Okay, so now we need to talk to the caravan guys here about that town. Let's save. How can I help you? Uh, I need to get someone. When's the next haul? Okay, next one's tomorrow. Um, okay, who do I speak to about that then? This guy? I have a question. Uh, tell me more about this. So I'm looking for a slave. Why are there so many caravaners? Um, hmm. And a helper of sorts. The type of risky fellow who trades down south. The only normal town down there is the hub. Okay. Now listen, I don't deal with slaves. Not like they're popular around here. The residents are doing no better except they don't wear collars. Well, let's suppose I need a slave. Where would I get one? Hmm, usually those who need slaves either form a gang or, or order from uh, or order them from Vegas. That rarely happens. The biggest slave owner around here is Mr. Oliver Luciano. You could try and buy a slave from him. I also used to buy slaves before he closed his mines. Luciano. Um, who do I speak to about the caravans then? I thought it was these guys. Maybe not. Maybe it's... No, but it was Reno. It said Reno, right? Uh... Help to equip caravan from New Reno to Bridgeport. Okay. I also need a first aid kit. Do I have one here? I don't think I've sold them all. Just because now I see that a lot of this stuff is actually useful. Uh, where is it going to be then? Tools? Ah, tools. Excellent. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, yeah. Who do we talk to then about the caravans? This is the only guy here, Tuco, Salamanca, probably not. Uh, none of these guys are actually named. I don't know of any other caravans around here in Reno. Hmm. Hmm. Just thinking. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Uh, I mean, we could always do it some other time, but <clears throat> Hotel Silver is there. Abandoned Farm, that's up there. Our cinema Railway Station doesn't have anything. Stadium doesn't have anything. We've killed them all. Luciano's Ranch doesn't have caravans. El Dorado doesn't. City Hall doesn't. Hmm. I'm a little bit confused. Yeah, that's this place. I wonder why you can come back here, although I guess you can get some more water. So let's see how that's going to increase our weight. 92 at the moment. Blip, 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 blip. Mmm, water. Mmm, water. Mmm, water. Mmm, water. Mmm, <laughs> water. Okay. By disinfecting and boiling some dirty water from the well, you get some clean water. Hey, you know, it, it it costs, so we can sell it, or we can use it for something. How many of these do we have? Holy moly. Oh, the well is dry. Oh, wow, the well is empty. Perhaps it will be filled sometime in the future. Interesting, I was wondering, like, you've got an unlimited supply of stuff here. Oh, look at that. We've gotten quite a bit of stuff out of weight. Nope. 
Surely there's going to be hidden stuff around here. Come on. Really? Nothing? What about that cactus? It looks suspicious. No. What about those cactuses? Nah. They don't look that suspicious. That one did. Those one don't. What about this tree? Nothing. Shame on you. There's nothing here. Complete waste of time. All right. So we have the cattle prod. We have the uranium city. Is there anything we can do there? Um, at the moment? No, I don't think so. so we're just going to go to Bridgeport and uh, do some other quests there. The biker should have left by now, I think. Hopefully. Boop. They got electricity. Yeah, they've left. Excellent. It seems that all the bikers left Bridgeport. Now the village is at long-awaited peace. Ah. This guy must be happy about it. Damn, they left without me, and I had such high hopes. Well, what is it? Now that the biker's gone, your son won't go anywhere. Thank you for getting rid of those... Uh, oh, yeah. <clears throat> Thank you for getting rid of those two-wheeled gorillas. Sure, they might come back, but the most important thing is that they abandoned Dante and left him behind. This will be a good lesson, especially after I beat the crap out of him. Well, I'll leave you two alone. <laughs> Uh, just as I promised, the bike bikers will no longer cause problems in Bridgeport. Thank you so much. It's nice to hear these words after all this. I hope you'll stay around for a little longer. Nice, another 500 experience. Um, okay. And now let's do the sick kid. I think he's here. Yes. What does that smell? As I said, my wife cooked an apple pie. You deserve a little for your good deeds. Oh, nice. Thanks. Regarding the patient, here's first aid kit. Treat her yourself. I'm interested in... Uh, okay. Do we have an apple pie now? Oh, we do. Mm -mm, a pie made of the maize dough and muta fruits. Well, it's not really apple pie, but... Man, I, I could really go for an apple pie right now. Painful cough. Alright, let's see. Let's hope we don't kill the poor kid. With our amazing lack of medical knowledge. Nope. Girl looks healthy already. What? Uh, okay. So I, I can't fix her. Here's a first aid kit. Treat her yourself. Thank you. It'll, not, uh, it'll help not only my daughter, but everyone. There's always some health issues around here. You're welcome. Nice. That was quite nice. All right. Well, next time we're going to do the cows. Well, we're going to move the cows into the corral. Uh, don't get any funny ideas. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.